Hello everyone. Today's demonstration will be male catheterization. So before we get started, we want to ensure that we've uh, checked our doctor's order, we've looked at our policy and procedure manual, we've done good hand hygiene, and when we enter the room, we're going to identify our client using two identifiers. For this procedure, I'm going to be using a surgical asepsis. The supplies I'm going to need today is one Foley catheter tray, one catheter, and as well some tape and a, and a sterile collection bag. I should also tell you that inside the kit is a pair of sterile gloves, but they're one size fits most. So if you have a larger um, hand size, you may want to bring your own sterile gloves with you. Prior to doing the procedure, I'm going to make sure that I've done good perineal care on my client. So let's begin. So I'm going to take my sterile bag out of the package and I'm going to just put it down here uh, beside my client so that I can uh, have good access to it. I'm going to make sure that my supplies are intact, that there's no breaks in the um, sterile packaging and that the uh, dates of expiry, um, so the, the uh, kits haven't expired. I'm going to open up my Foley catheter tray. And then using the principles of sterile um, asepsis, I want to make sure I open the tray away from me. So this first fold, I'm going to go down this way. The sides. And then keeping in mind that I have that one inch contaminated border. Now I can go ahead and remove some thing, items out of my tray. And my gloves are right here. Okay. Once that's complete, I'm going to place my forceps on the side. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my package here. So you'll notice that there's an outer package and an inner package. The inner package is sterile, so I don't want to touch that. But just to make it easier for me to actually um, remove it out of the packaging and place it on my tray later, I'm going to take my tape. I'm going to open my package. And I'm going to tape this down to my overbed table. So then once I get my sterile gloves on, all I need to do is just remove it out of the packaging. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put another piece just so it doesn't come apart. So now I can go ahead and put on my sterile gloves. Oh, wait a minute. I got to set up my client client first. So for your male client, you want to make sure that they are laying um, flat on their back. You'll get them to put their legs apart slightly and then just keep the lower portion of the body exposed. I'm going to make sure that I have my bag close by so I'm ready to connect and then I can go ahead and put my gloves on. I'm going to take my catheter out of the packaging. garbage. I'm going to take my catheter and I'm going to connect my syringe so it gets connected to this little piece here and I'm going to test the balloon so make sure that that balloon has no leaks and it can inflate. So it looks good. I'm going to remove the fluid out of the balloon. I'm going to open up my lubricant and I'm going to lubricate my catheter 
So for the male client, I'm going to be uh, inserting at least 22 centimeters. So I want to make sure that it is uh, well lubricated. And then I'm going to open up my cleaning solution to clean the perineum. I'm going to go ahead and place my drapes. So this is a fenestrated drape. It's going to go over the penis, like so. And then the next drape I'm going to place between the client's legs, and it's going to act like a, a um, sterile field. So now I've got my catheter with the syringe attached in my kit. I have the uh, cleaning swabs and now I'm ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take your whole kit down and we're going to place it between the client's legs in that sterile field. I'm now going to take my non-dominant hand and I'm going to grab the penis and if your client has uh, not been circumcised you're going to want to pull back uh, on the foreskin. You're going to first start cleaning. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right from the meatus and work our way out. So we're going to clean around in a circle and dispose. Again, starting at the meatus, we're going to work our way around and dispose. And then one more time and dispose. Now when we're ready to insert, we're going to get our client to take a deep breath in and then exhale. And on exhale, we're going to go ahead and um, put the catheter in. So you want to hold the penis at about a 90 degree angle. And for some gentlemen, especially if they've got uh, issues with uh, prostrate, uh, you can find that it's a little bit difficult uh, to get past that obstruction. So you may have to insert right up to the bifurcation, so basically where the end of the catheter uh, meets the um, uh, port to inflate the balloon before you actually start to see urine. Once urine uh, starts to uh, come out of the catheter, you want to just insert another couple centimeters. And then with your uh, non-dominant hand, you're going to hold the catheter here while you go ahead and inflate. So I'm going to inflate the balloon. And once I have that inflated, I'm going to let go of the penis and I'm just going to pull back slightly on the catheter until I meet resistance. I then can disconnect my syringe from the catheter and go ahead and connect my sterile uh, bag. Once that's complete, I want to make sure that I secure the catheter to the client's thigh. I'm going to remove all these items. I'm going to give my client some peri care. And then I'm going to ensure that the catheter bag is attached to the frame of the bed uh, below the level of the bladder. I'm going to go ahead and uh, document when I get back to the nursing station. So I want to document the size of catheter that I put in, how many um, cc's of fluid I use to inflate the bulb, the reason that I put in the catheter and the client's response. I'm also going to um, mention in there what the returns were like. So quantity of urine that came out and what did it look like. I'm also going to be recording my urine output on my intake output form. I'm going to do some teaching with my clients. So I'm going to get them to uh, drink a little bit more fluids. Be careful when they're up ambulating. Uh, or moving from side to side in the bed so they uh, don't tug on their catheter. And if they're able to, I will instruct them on how to do perineal care. And that's it for male catheterization.